Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I am aware that many designers and artists are seeking a convenient and time efficient method for creating interior concept or final sketches. In this tutorial, I will present valuable tips and tricks by exclusively utilizing a single brush. You heard it right, a single kind of brush that is the flat brush pen throughout this video. The entire rendering will be accomplished using only this particular type of pen. Are you confused? Then stay tuned throughout the video to witness this magic. So without further ado, let's get started. So this time I'm selecting something new that is the automatic selection tool. So just select the selection button and then you will find the automatic selection tool underneath. Uh, into the new layer just color drop the color of your choice and also if you would have noticed I already have a color palette. As I do it for all my other videos always remember to download a color palette. and I'm selecting the legs now the same way use the automatic selection tool and just click on the closed and on the enclosed spaces there you go very easy and just color drop of your choice and make sure that each color of your different objects are in different layers So right now I'm repeating the same technique for all the objects and make sure that um, when you're selecting the shapes are enclosed properly. If the, Even if there is a small opening in your diagram then you won't be able to select the whole thing uh, or you won't be able to select everything in particular. The selection will start bleeding then you will end up freehand selecting that might be a bit time consuming isn't it in this i'm just showing you a um, time efficient way and now i'm concentrating on each object so with the sofa um for those who have been following all my videos you would notice that i stress a lot on light and shadow so right now i am assuming the light to come from this side hence i'm making the other side darker and you will see throughout the video that I will be maintaining the same principle wherein I will be making the right side darker whereas the left side will be lighter I'll be adding more white towards that side I'm following the shape of the object with a darker shade I've uh, directly chosen black because this color is already dark so there's no use if I select a darker tone it will end up being black so I've directly chosen the black color and I'm just following the shape of the object. So you can see that I am properly showing the curve of the sofa. So even the shading is in curved shape. I am moving my pencil in a curved manner and also I am showing some depth behind the pillow so that I am showing as if the pillow is creating the shadow. And now you can see that I am adding white assuming the daylight towards the other side. 
I'm also making sure to show light creases or light folds making it look like you know fabric folds and making it look slightly velvety in nature There you go, I'm almost done with the sofa and now I'm starting with its legs. I am giving it a golden metallic golden effect. So I'm using the same flat brush pen. I've just decreased the size of it and I'm using different shades of yellow. So I'm using mustard yellow, light yellow, dark yellow, white, black and also if you see the white I am showing the white shine only towards the light side. So as you know like when the light falls on the metal it creates that white shine. Now I've moved to the pillow and I'm following literally the same thing reducing the size of the brush slightly and shading according to the shape of the pillow with a darker tone of the shade of the pillow. Just remember to move your pen according to the shape of your object and just make sure to remember the light and shadow, the direction of the light and the direction of the shadow. It's very easy guys if you keep practicing it and I have told in one of my comments as well like you can keep observing everyday items in your home uh, and you can observe how the light falls on it and how the shadow is created behind it the same way you have to follow on in in your sketches as well so here also i'm uh, creating that creases the folds on the fabric i'm just reducing the size of the brush and moving my hand accordingly giving the pillow a white shade towards the light side there you go, you've almost got a beautiful pillow. So when you automatically try to adjust your brush sizes and act towards the dark and light side of an object, you will start seeing it being realistic. At the same time, you'll have the sketchy effect on your interior concept sketches. There you go, the sofa is ready now. The grey lampshade is very easy you guys. You just have to increase the size slightly and keep following the darker shades of the same color and follow the light shadow directions and there you will get a very beautiful object. And also guys make sure to alpha lock each layer before you start shading. All right. Go to each layer, alpha lock them before you start shading so that your colors don't bleed outside and you get a clean, crisp finish to every object.
I ended up free selecting the stand of this lampshade because it is too small and it was very very impossible for me to select it automatically so after selecting in a new layer just color drop the yellow shade so I have decided to give the lamp stand as well a golden metallic effect because I just wanted it to match with the sofa legs and I am repeating the same concept just using different shades of yellow, black and white to create that metallic effect to create the metallic shine Rendering the porcelain vase and just reduced the brush size and creating these lines so that it creates that unique shine on the vase towards the light side so it looks a bit original and now I'm selecting the leaves using the automatic selection since the leaves are all enclosed, it's very easy to select within seconds. There you go. And in a new layer, I'm selecting the green and color dropping it. So you can just color drop. And now I am alpha locking the layers, the leaf layer and with the same flat brush pen. I'm using different shades of green and just creating the depth on the leaves Just pushing the leaf layer on top so that uh, the other layers don't overlap on the leaves because they are like very tiny so I just wanted to be on the top layer. Now I am doing the wooden slates behind. It's a very interesting material. So this as well I am automatically selecting it because my sketch had a little openings here and there so my selection was bleeding when I tried to uh, do the automatic selection I color drop it uh, literally using uh, the color from my color palette it's a very beautiful color and using the flat brush pen using a lighter or a darker shade and just drawing lines holding it so that it becomes straight just drag and hold it for some time so that it becomes straight and steady and it goes well with the shape of the wooden slate 
there you go it's very easy guys just keep repeating the same steps using different shades of the uh, brown Within minutes, you are easily able to create a beautiful wooden slate finish on a wall with just a single type of pen. How cool is that guys? Very easy, not, not time consuming and easy method of sketching. So I'm, I've used this dark shade to just uh, draw random lines on the wooden slate here and there. So it just creates the depth and definition of that uh, object. And the corner I'm just making it black. It's all because of the shadow effect. And a slightly darker color in between each slate so that it differentiates within one another and now you can see that the wooden slate wall is getting into shape slowly For the painting, just create a rectangular selection and color drop it with a lighter color. I'm just dragging my layer to the top so that I'll be able to see what I'm doing clearly. And using the same flat brush pen and with the same color palette, I'm just creating an abstract painting. And now to move it, I'm using the distort option. This is the uniform option. Now if you select distort, see you will be able to move it freely according to the shape of on whatever you want to put them on. So now I'm putting it on this canvas. There you go. Just select each point and match it with the points of the external points of the canvas and there you can beautifully arrange it now it's time to create the flooring i'm going to use a terrazzo flooring method so with this rectangular selection tool i've selected and color dropped and now with the free hand selection tool I'm just drawing these random uh, shapes on this tile, imitating that of a terrazzo tile. Just keep selecting it throughout the tile. Then after that with the flat brush pen, I'm just using different shades. Uh, here I've used pink, grey, white, black, just here and there. Don't off the selection tool, you can see that the selection is still on. And you just shade randomly like this to get a beautifully natural looking terrazzo tile.
I'm duplicating the layer and using the magnetic selection to snap it uniformly so that we don't move the object randomly and I'm gonna repeat the same process again before that I'm going to pinch these two layers to make it into one layer duplicating the same layer and again uniformly moving it to make it a four tile arrangement and basically I'm going to repeat the same process again and again to create a, a tile arrangement sufficient to cover the floor in this sketch After that's done with a rectangular selection tool I'm just selecting the whole tile layout and creating a new layer moving that layer beneath the tile layout layer and color dropping it with a lighter color so that I'm showing the joints between the tile and they don't become transparent when I'm trying to arrange them and with the distort uh, move tool I'm just adjusting the corners of the tile layout to the corners of my room in this sketch. Now I'm selecting the carpet and color dropping it with a color from my color palette and using the flat brush pen I'm just first making a line so that it creates a depth on this carpet when you see it from this side it doesn't look like 2D but it looks like 3D and I'm gonna alpha lock it increase the size of the brush and with a darker shade I'm going to start shading it starting from the corner and following the same principle darker towards the right side and lighter towards the left by now you guys must be tired of me saying or stressing upon the light and shadow again and again but this is a great tip guys it's like a life-changing tip that you always need to keep in mind to make it as realistic as possible so I'm going to stress as much as I can whenever I get the chance so please excuse me for that so there you go a beautiful carpet now you know what I'm trying to say it just with a single type of pen you will be able to create this beautiful realistic effect if you keep in mind some tricks that I'm trying to teach you so here yeah I have selected the legs of this table and color dropped it with the yellow so you can easily draw any shape and if you long uh, press it or hold the pen on the screen it takes its shape steadily and as you can see it's the same drill I'm trying to create the golden metallic effect so I'm using all shades of yellow black and white
there it's almost starting to become realistic the legs of the table there you go you have to just follow simple tips simple tricks within seconds within minutes you will be able to sketch an almost realistic with a sketchy effect or uh, interior concept or final sketches and if you can show it in your uni or uh, to your clients they will be quite impressed and they will straight away you know get an idea of what you're trying to convey to them regarding your design i have reached my ceiling now freehand selecting it and with the color from the color palette in a new layer just randomly color dropping it as you can see i'm moving the colored layer beneath my sketch so that my lines will be seen and i'm just dragging and holding it to make the lines steady see very easy i'm just showing trying to show the cornices of this false ceiling drag hold there you go very beautiful right For the ceiling I've alpha locked it and just increase the brush size and selecting a darker shade and moving along with the shape of the object to create that depth. Also highlighting my cornices with a white shade as well. So white and black combination always tries to create or illuminates the sense of depth in any object go the ceiling is almost done and now I am moving to the wall alpha locked it selecting a darker shade and just moving according to the shape of the wall and as you can see further on I'll be selecting darker shades and basically repeating the same process following the shape of the object and shading accordingly and there you go beautiful it's just that i'm trying to make the corner dark because not much light fall on the corners of the room so it tends to be a bit darker than the rest of the room isn't it How can we forget the shadows cast by these objects guys? So just in a new layer, uh, make sure the layer is beneath all the other layers so that this shadow sits beneath each object and doesn't overlap on the object. So I'm just creating the shadows beneath each object. Very easy. Under the sofa, behind the wooden slate just reduce adjust the size of your brush for each object and keep on painting the shadows of each object for the table as well 
Make sure when you're giving the shadows, go according to the shape of the object. If not, then it wouldn't make sense, right? So for the table, it's circular, so I'm giving a circular um, shadow. And for the lamp, I'm just curving the shadow behind, right behind the lamp. and now i have decided to add some spice so i'm going to go to the leaf layer alpha lock it and select the yellow color and paint it yellow and also the waist i'm going to paint it yellow just the upper portion and very lightly don't make the whole object yellow the layer beneath the lamp i'm making it yellow so i think you guys would have guessed what i'm trying to do and i've just decided to switch on that lamp and creating yellow on the tabletop as well as the corner of the sofa because the light is slightly going to touch the corner as well I'm alpha locking it so that the color doesn't bleed out. There you go. Slight hint. Don't overpower the color on the object. And in a new layer, I'm just drawing strokes over the object and with the Gaussian blur, dragging the pen on my screen towards the right and you can see that the light has that blurry effect it doesn't become very sharp but it's very soft on the object so there you go it's beautiful sketch isn't it it looks so realistic and also at the same time it looks like a sketchy rendery uh, and realistic and people would be able to make out what you're trying to convey through your conceptual or through your final sketches be it in your interior design firm uh, at your workplace or at your uni uh, it's very easily convincible and people will be able to easily make out what you're trying to portray so this is it for today's video you guys hope you enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel as well as you can comment below on what you would like to see uh, next and I will come up with an easy tutorial sorry if this video was really long but then I have to cover most of it so that I will be able to give my maximum knowledge to you hope this made a change in your skill set and if it did then make sure to stay tuned to my next video until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress